Um, how, well, I mean, just when me and Nerland's in, I play the four. Me and Kyle's in, I play the four. And then there's a time where I play the five. So it's just different because now I have to learn all the different plays. And I just started learning the four this week. So playing, having a game and starting to, like, like playing that game, but I've only been practicing the position for a week. Now I'm like, I feel like I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right away, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it worked good tonight, though. Well, the coach said, or Ryan said, the coach warned him that you all would be wrong 70% of the time. Did you feel like what you all were doing wrong most of the time? Or not? I mean, it didn't, it didn't feel wrong because I feel like for the most part, when we, when we did make a mistake, either you knew it right away, and you you try to go extremely hard, so then it kind of makes up for it. Or I mean, sometimes you you just knew it, and you just stop. And that's what he's trying to preach to us about. You know, if you make a mistake, you can't just stop because now you're, you're messing everybody else up. But if you make a mistake and you keep on going hard, now you can kind of bounce back from that. Somebody else can help you out, and then you get back in. Like he always talks about scrambling on defense. I mean, that's a big part of our going to be a big part of our defense this year. There are times in practice or game you think, and I'm glad I'm not the point guard. Just kind of takes. Um, no, I, I don't think that. I mean, he does get after him, though. I mean, he does get after him, though. Was there a certain lineup you remember when you were out there that you thought worked really well? Um, um, me and Erlen's on the floor at the same time worked really well just because of the link you have and the amount of time. Like, you can gamble more. I mean, also, you know, Kyle Nerland's on the floor at the same time, and Kyle can shoot, and you got to do the outstanding at rebounding and stuff. So, I mean, like, all three of those, even when all three of us was on the, on the floor at the same time, worked pretty well. We just never done that before. Like, we, had, we didn't do that till now, so it was kind of different. Like, whoa, putting all three of us on the, on the floor at the same time. <laughs> And we never worked at it, so it was just kind of weird. But I mean, it still worked. That was the first time you and Kyle and their New Orleans have been on the court. Together, yeah, so yeah, on the same team. What'd you think of it? How, what was it like playing with two other guys about as big as you were? I mean, I didn't really. Re at first, you don't realize it. Like when you're playing, you don't realize it. But at first, it was like, what is he doing? Like, why <laughs> is he putting us all three at the same time? But, but, I mean, it worked good. I mean, Kyle's a good shooter and. Me and Nerland is, you know, one of our strengths is passing. So when you got Kyle that can just spot up instead of having to try to create a shot, I mean, that's that's good for Kyle. With the big lineup in there, was it was it obvious to, to both you and, and, and Nerlens who was supposed to be down low and who's supposed to be like at the high post, or was there still like some communication and some kinks to work out there? Uh, no, I, I think for the most part we know that you know when we go bigger, you know, Nerlens will be down low and I'll play the the, the high kind of four and the five. Hey, he'll play the five, I'll play the four, and then when it's all three of us, Kyle will play the three, I'll play the four, and he'll play the five. Why is that why, why is that the way you, you think it would line up? That's just what they've done, I don't know. Oh, just the way it's <laughs> done. It's just the way, this is the way they do it in practice. Okay. What do you think about Archie? 